Okay, well, welcome uh, once again. I'm filming solo today, and I think I got the camera angle right and everything, so uh, we'll get right to it. Uh, now, last time out, we did a beer from Austria. We're going to kind of keep in the same region of Europe, but we're going to do a beer today from neighboring Germany, as a matter of fact. Uh, the name of this beer is Schneider Weiss Tap 6 Unser Aventinus. Uh, this is a Weizenbach, as a matter of fact. Kind of marketed as a Doppelbach, but not quite a Doppelbach. Uh, this is a Weizenbach. Uh, which is a stronger version of a Dunkelweizen uh, out of uh, Germany, as a matter of fact. A little more uh, high in the alcohol content, a little more uh, malty, and a little more rich in the dark fruits uh, than a Dunkel uh, is. So this is brewed in Germany, as I said. The name of the town this is brewed in is Kelheim, um, and this is uh, brewed by the Weisses uh, Brauhaus G. Schneider and Son. G. Schneider and Son. So they are very famous for... Uh, many types of uh, German beers, as you might expect, being in Bavaria and all that. And this is uh, widely considered the top uh, kind of uh, beer out of the uh, Weizenbach style. So this is supposed to be the best. This is widely considered a dessert beer. Um, they pride themselves on uh, being Germany's original wheat Doppelbach uh, ale. Like I said, they, they market themselves as a Doppelbach, even though they're more of a, of a uh, Weizenbach uh, instead. And really good as well. So I'm expecting kind of a darker beer. This is a uh, bigger bottle than uh, usual. This is uh, the old 1.9 fluid ounces bottle. This is the bottle that you want to stay home and drink and not have to go anywhere the rest of the night. So we'll pour it into a Wizen glass, which I just found out this is actually a Wizen glass. Got it from the NASCAR Sports Grill in uh, Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. And we'll pour it in here. Wow, this head is going really, really, really high right now. And as it's settling up very, very lightly, I am astounded to see, first of all, that the head is barely disappearing. But second of all, from what I can see right here, it is a little lighter, almost a lagerish kind of, uh, kind of tint to it as it kind of settles up. And uh, again, the head is just incredible, which means the alcohol content, which is 8.2%, by the way, is not quite high enough to relinquish the head of the beer, which uh, kind of the last beer that we did, the one out of Austria that was 14% alcohol, was a little bit high. So we'll grab a whiff of this. Oh my gosh, this is one of the fruitiest, potent, beers in a good way that I have ever smelled in my entire life. There's so much going on here. You can actually smell uh, banana, uh, also vanilla, and actually it lists uh, banana and vanilla as uh, some of the ingredients. Also clove, as I'm reading the back of this, and notes of chocolate as well, crystal and dark malt. So uh, as it's kind of filtering up even, again, very slowly, I can see kind of a darker hue you see this right here, a little bit of a darker hue as it filters up to the top. So maybe it just needed some time to kind of settle there and I get a little bit of a darker hue. Not quite of a, not quite a porter color. I was kind of expecting more of a Bach porter kind of color, but I'm getting a, uh, a dark, dark lagerish color right now. So I'm going to try not to have a beer mustache here, but I, I can't really wait too long to sample this. So here we go. Wow, that banana taste is so prevalent in this. I taste lots of banana. I don't really get the hint of chocolate yet, but there, I mean, it's such a complex beer and it's such a dessert beer. There's just so much going on in this beer. It's very tasty. It is just uh, unbelievable how all these ingredients are uh, intermeshing right now. Um, it almost tastes like a triple. I would kind of put this in the category of maybe a, maybe a Golden Monkey-ish beer, a little bit better tasting than a Golden Monkey, but uh, it tastes very triple-ish to me. Uh, maybe it's the banana kind of taste that's kind of doing it, I don't know. But this is a very, very, very beer, a meal in a bottle kind of beer, I guess, like the Doppelbach was. Uh, very full, you don't even need to enjoy this with anything. You can pair it with chocolate, you can pair it with barbecue, I guess, if you want to, but 
You can just drink it straight by itself, which is what I'm doing right now. I would give this beer, the Aventinus, I would give this an 8.5 out of 10.